You've probably seen this police record circulating on the internet recently. Two female police officers enter a house based on a report and shoot the homeowner. Not just one magazine, the magazine runs out and the magazines are reloaded and fired again. Thankfully, out of the four magazines, they only managed to hit five bullets among them, so there are no fatalities. This happened in Northeast Houston at the Pines of Wood Forest apartment complex around 2 a.m. on February 3rd. When we combine the claims of both sides, the whole incident appears as follows. Pouncey and the apartment resident, LaRonda Berry, had broken Berry's apartment window to gain entry after losing their key. Since it is nighttime, the sound of breaking glass echoes in the neighborhood. Hearing the sounds, the residents of the neighborhood call the police suspecting an intruder. The police quickly arrive at the scene and take positions to enter the house. Ebony Punsey, upon hearing footsteps from outside, assumes that an intruder could come through the broken window and approaches the area where the police are with her legally owned firearm. Although this part is not visible in the video, according to the police's claim, they announce their presence from the broken window. However, we cannot see this moment in the part of the video shared publicly. Ebony Punsey claims she didn't hear any noise. There are two scenarios here. If the police didn't make any announcement, the homeowner's approach would be based on the possibility of an intruder coming inside. The broken window might have aroused suspicion in the homeowner that someone could come in at any moment, thus increasing the perceived level of danger. In the scenario where the police made announcements, it's the homeowner's responsibility to act according to those warnings. If the police made sufficient warnings, but Ebony Punchy didn't hear them, because she was at the back of the house, then taking quick action is normal because the report was made suspecting an intruder. Since the broken window supports the validity of the report, it's understandable for the police to approach the scene with this suspicion and increase the level of danger. However, there is still a problem. The police are in an advantageous position outside and are observing the room. Firing directly without any warning is not normal. This scenario would only be true if Ebony Punsey pointed the gun at the police. Because when the police see the homeowner, they still don't make the necessary warnings. They don't follow the required protocol. When watching the video, you can only feel a sense of firing out of fear. Considering that this incident has happened twice this month, it's more likely that the police couldn't cope with their stress levels and fired in a panic. Last month, you may recall, a police officer claimed that a suspect in handcuffs had shot at him and he fired back, emptying two magazines into the innocent person on the ground. If similar incidents occur twice in a month, the police force should either question the training they provide or refrain from filling the organization with individuals who can't handle stress. What are your comments on this matter? Write your opinions in the comments.